Nobody hung Judas. Judas hung himself. He did exactly what his bitterness led him to do. Matthew 27, beginning in verse 2, And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. This is Jesus, of course. In verse 3, Then Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself, and brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders. So he takes this money back to the chief priests and the elders, saying, I have sinned in that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, what is that to us? And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. This was the fate of his bitterness. Many of you have had people who have been bitter against you, and it really hasn't troubled you. It's troubled them. But I can assume that pretty much everyone in this room at some point in time has been bitter against somebody for something. Maybe they've said something to you, and you have been offended at it, and now you're angry with them. Somebody you know has done something to you. And you say, well, I didn't deserve that. Which, can I just say this this morning, that that's pride. That's pride. We say, well, nobody deserves that. Oh, think again. We all deserve a whole lot worse than what we get. And you and I both know. So when we start to say, we didn't deserve that, we have to ask our question, why? Ask us this question, why? Because I am better than that. Oh, so it is a pride issue. You put up your guard, and you, you duck your head a little bit, and you're ready to just jab back, aren't you? You try to seek revenge, retaliation, in this society we live in, in a COVID society, this is just a mess, right? Give God the benefit of the doubt. Don't be bitter toward God, and certainly don't be bitter towards your brother. I tell you, if we could live a life without bitterness, if we could live a life that was free from bitterness, we'd live a life uh, free from revenge and anger and hatred toward other people.